Industrial buildings line the highways throughout Halton, and our Nikki Wesley wondered what businesses can be found in said industrial buildings. Today she shares a hidden gem that Burlington residents can be proud of. So Nikki, let's play What's in the Warehouse? Well, Jason, behind me is one of the biggest record pressing companies in North America. Believe it or not, they do runs from 100 for local artists to 100,000 for international artists like Taylor Swift and Drake. That's right, Precision Records, right here in Burlington, recently celebrated their sixth anniversary. And in the last six years, they've grown exponentially. When we joined the market, the record industry was pretty hot. I mean, people had talked about the vinyl revival since 2008. And when we joined the fray in 2016, 2017, um, there was another capacity crunch going on because there was too much demand, not enough supply. And then that leveled out and, you know, it felt like it was leveling out. And then the pandemic restarted the demand all over again and pushed it into the stratosphere. When they first opened in 2017, they had 10 record presses, and they turned an order around in eight weeks. With demand skyrocketing through the pandemic, wait times across the industry slowed to six to eight months. Precision added to their presses through the beginning of the pandemic, trying to get customers' orders completed faster. Two every couple of months, and so it was a gradual process to get us to 35. They now make 75,000 records a day. The process all starts with making negatives with the complete album on two metal plates. We'll take those metal plates, one for A, one for B, we'll put them on the press, we'll take the vinyl material, PVC, uh, we extrude what we call a puck, so we'll have this little hockey puck looking guy, we'll put that on the press, the stampers are on top and bottom, and as the molds close, steam rushes in, expands the, the puck, turns it into a record, cold water comes in to solidify it. When it comes out of the press, you then have a press record. The first record that comes off the press in a run gets listened to from beginning to end for quality control. Then, after the records are cooled for a period of 12 to 24 hours, they go to the Oakville location where they're sleeved. So they're put into white sleeves or printed sleeves. There's a second visual check there to, again, weed out any records that don't meet our standards. From there, they get packaged with all the print that we make at our Toronto location and uh, you know, shipped off to, to customers around the world. The manual presses you just saw in action, paired with Precision Record Pressing's 48 color choices, allow musicians to customize the look for a truly unique record. With all the presses running full steam, they just announced they now have leading industry turnaround times in just 10 weeks. I think of the vinyl record as being like the real document of the music, whatever that means. It comes and goes in waves of popularity. Right now it's on a big upswing and, you know, it kind of gives us the impression that people will always come back to it in some form or other. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Mickey Wesley.